What is going on everyone? Thank you all so much for tuning back in. Let's just jump right into it. So first off, I want to just go ahead and show you guys how BBBY ended up doing on the day because I'm sure a lot of you are curious how it did after the huge day it had yesterday, right? A lot of momentum. If I can show you guys again, it ended up having like a nice 75 to 80% push from lows of the day to highs of the day. But ultimately ended up having a nice sell-off, did find a higher low, right? The low it had here wasn't as low as it previously was. And it did a nice job of validating the support and basically bouncing off it to form higher highs and higher lows all the way to new highs here at around 30. So why do, why do I think that BBBY sold off on the day? What led it to sell off on the day was basically this critical point right here. It was trying to validate this strong resistance in the pre-market leading into the market open. As you guys can see, it had a nice shot up, but once again, validated this resistance and sold off. And the whole rest of the day, as you guys can tell, it started to want to sell off, try finding support a couple times here, right? This general support area where it's tended to bounce off here numerous times. But, and it did try picking up here and ultimately, what led it to start falling was the fact that it couldn't break this resistance area right here. It started just forming lower highs on the day big picture, right? When I, what, I, what do I mean by big picture? Obviously here it's starting to form higher highs and higher lows, but on the day big picture, it could never break this resistance, ultimately forming these lower highs and eventually lower lows, which will let it to have this drastic sell off. So. What do I think would be the smartest thing to do? If you look at BBBY in the big picture, the 180 day, if you plan to short it today because it did have a nice rally yesterday, it wouldn't be the dumbest idea to cover your profits because as you guys can see, any time it's previously started to trend up, when it's, when it's been uptrending, it's tended to fall right below the EMA and surge. Anytime it would kind of fall below the EMA, it would tend to pick back up and have these nice pushes. And it would be pretty naive to think that it can't happen again or something, it, just something like that could not happen again, right? Obviously, it can happen again. And as you guys can see, it has been uptrending. BBBY uptrended past the SMA after having a nice and bearish run. Started trending up, had a nice push, came back down just below the EMA line and had a nice surge again. And as you guys can see, right now it's trading right below that EMA line. And if you really want to play it safe, you should definitely lo look to offload the shares because there's no harm in, in selling all your shares because you can always get back in. If this thing came back here and say you didn't sell out your shares, there's still a good chance it can rally on the day, right? And keep validating this pattern. So it could be looked at to be smart to get rid of your shares here. And only if you see that it does want to actually start falling like it previously did here and start forming lower lows and lower highs and not validating this pattern, this, this kind of higher highs and higher lows off the blue EMA line. If you see it does start downtrending, then you can always get back in, right? There's no point in having to risk it if, if you feel that there is a good chance it can go south, right? So yeah, that's just my takeaway for that. But I just want to go ahead and share with you guys how the NASDAQ looked today. So as you guys can tell from the thumbnail, it was another red day today. A nice little red day down $75. That puts me down like 1.5% on the week. And what I want to say first of all is I really do hope that there are a lot of traders out there. If you guys see this video that are finding it refreshing to see that not everyone is just constantly killing it always right it can definitely seem that way on youtube with a lot of people that um their channels are also focused on stocks and they are killing it right there's definitely without a question a, a good amount of people that are very very consistent and they've been doing this for a much longer time than i even have so it's it's just all part of the process and i really like i said i, I really hope you find it refreshing that there's other people that are struggling. Not everyone's just making a boatload of money trading stocks right now. 90% of day traders lose money, so the majority aren't. I know it may seem like it's the other way around, but that that's just 
that's just the reality of it. There's a lot of traders that are losing money, and I want you guys to not get, beat yourselves up about it, right? Because if you guys are also on a red streak and are constantly seeing a lot of people make a ton of money, it can definitely feel kind of like hopeless and just just not the best, right? Obviously, so it's definitely um, a good idea to just keep everything big picture and realize that it's it's all a big process and not everyone is going to be killing it so if you're struggling still just keep going at it if you really have a passion for this and don't let don't let your red days dissuade you or frustrate you from being able to potentially have this be something that you do for the rest of your life that can definitely change your life right even with these red days me and my brother have been having we're never going to stop trading stocks because we find so much value in it and it's just something we're very passionate about so yeah i just want to leave you guys with that note but in terms of how the Nasdaq did today, ever since it hit the highs yesterday, it's consistently been selling off in the after hours leading to when the market opened up right around here at 6.30. And right around here, as you guys can see, it tried to find a support somewhere here. And it when the market opened up, it even flashed to the top, to the middle view up right here, but ultimately got rejected. Now why, if it made a higher high, right, the high it had here was, still, it was higher than the highs are previously at here. If it's starting to form a support and made a higher high, why do I think it sold off so aggressively? Well, just because it formed a little higher high here doesn't mean that the direction is changing because if you look at NQ big picture, this is a five day five minute or bigger picture, not big picture. It's a five day five minute and ever since it hit that high here, anywhere here basically, was still fair game for it to want to form these lower highs now and start selling off. Because after at the high here, it tried picking back up again right around this area at 11 o'clock yesterday p.m. Ultimately couldn't, got rejected and had a nice, nice sell off, right? Validating this lower high pattern. It couldn't keep pushing up and validating this higher highs and higher lows, but instead it's looking like it wants to change direction because the high it had here, it, it couldn't keep up this pattern, right? It can't keep breaking these highs. It looks like it struggled here and started selling off aggressively. And even this is when the market opened up and it hit middle view up. Say it crossed middle view up and started going all the way to top view up. There is still a big chance that there could have been a big rejection just because of these lower highs it's forming big picture. In order for me to believe that it wasn't going to start just selling off aggressively, I need to see thank you kind of start picking back up and break this resistance it had here to form these higher highs now because right now it's just been forming these lower highs and like I said anywhere leading up to here it was fair game for it to still get rejected because it could still form a lower high anywhere here and NQ has shown signs it wants to start selling off right so let me just get rid of that quick so if you look at NQ big picture too, it was trending below the EMA line now. So it wasn't a big shocker that it could look to start being a little more bearish today. Even like the 10 day 30 minute, as you guys can see, broke below the SMA line and wasn't validating this pattern anymore. It started forming lower lows, right? The lows it had here are lower than the ones it had here. So previously here. So basically that's what let it start selling off. And why do I think there was a big little bounce here for a change, a small change of direction to top view up? That's something you definitely could have been on the lookout for because if I show you it on the this chart, after it started selling off, even the market uh, leading into the market open and of like an hour or two after that, it was selling off pretty aggressively to the point where now it's looking like it wants to be a little more oversold because it's approaching the areas where it's tended to bounce off of and start soaring right and after a large bearish move like this it's no shocker that there could be a play like that because the stock is not just going to keep falling forever and, for, and ever it's going to be bound to find some type of support and as you guys can see on the other time frames i'm trying to show you it did aggressively sell off but it tried to find a support around these previous areas that it has before tended to uptrend, right? Even on the 10 day, 30 minute, definitely you could have seen some type of bounce coming, right? After this large sell-off, this general area, somewhere around here, 
You could have seen a play like that coming, so it wouldn't have been the dumbest idea to lock in profits after a large sell-off. So it did ultimately try and pick up and hit top view up, and in my opinion, the critical area where it started to kind of want to change direction for a bit and hit top view up was right around this area here. Because as you guys can see, it was consistently selling off, forming these lower highs and lower lows. And it wasn't until it sold off till 13406 down here, where it sold off enough, like I showed you, and could bounce, where it did want to find the bounce here. I'm not saying it had to, obviously. It could have came up here and just consistently kept selling off too, right, and following this pattern. But the fact that it pushed up here, came back down, and didn't follow this pattern, but instead bounced off the EMA and kept going, the highs it has here are now higher than the highs that it previously had here, right? These lower highs, it broke them. And once it broke this area of resistance, that was a sign for me to think that it could start going on the day, right? It could start trending up. And what really did it was when it broke the middle VWAP here because it, it was kind of a little break of pattern. And he, right, right around here earlier when I showed you, it's tended to get rejected off the middle VWAP, right? The purple line. Got rejected off here twice and even a third time right here got rejected but because it was starting to form these higher highs and break this pattern once it was able to clearly break the middle VWAP it had a nice splurge all the way to the top VWAP and like I showed you guys earlier this was where I said it anywhere here was still a fair game right the highs were up here anywhere here it could still find a lower high right if I show you on the 5 day 5 minute from the highs it had yesterday, even with the push to the top VWAP, it still found lower highs big picture and started to sell off, right? So the NASDAQ look like, looks like it doesn't want to keep following these higher highs and higher lows because it has been rallying a lot. So it, it made sense on why it could be a bit bearish today, right? So a play like that, I just want to make you guys know that NQ does not have to just go on one direction for the day. It started selling off very aggressively, had a nice, nice sell-off, definitely good margin that could have been made. Ultimately tried finding a support around where it's previously bounced, like I showed you guys. It's even clear on the 10-day. It bounced right around this area, came up, but like I said, it was for me lower high, so it could have made this play up like it has before, but it did validate this lower high and ultimately got rejected again. What would I have wanted to see for it, me to think that this could actually keep trending up? I would want to see NQ pick back up to these levels, breaking these kind of resistance areas that had to form higher highs and not keep forming these lower highs big picture, right? I want to see it start picking up and holding. Because other than that, in my opinion, it's looking like NQ could start to be a little more bearish. It made sense why there could have been a little pullback today. So yeah, that's just it. That's what I want to leave you guys on for today i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and if you've learned something just please leave a like uh leave a thumbs up on the video it means a lot to me my brother and make sure to leave any comments or questions down below we would definitely love to answer it and yeah that's just it guys i'll see you guys all tomorrow and friday take it easy